It's fan service time! Hello, welcome to another video review. Today we're going to have a look at two lovely ladies. The Finma number 527 and 528. It's Ange and Lana, the Plastic Angels, based on the original artwork by Shunya Yamashita, showing up in the uh, Japanese magazine known as Armor Modeling. Basically what it means, they're all about showing off how you build your model kits or paint in or build it together. From what I can tell, but for me it's just like I looked at this and I was first and foremost, I love Shunya Yamashina's artwork. I have so many figures, like the entire, for example, the Kodobo Kia Bishoujo line is all based on that and there's many, many more figures that he has his involvement in. Got the chance to get some figmas of that, I had to jump on the occasion. Also, it's fan service because they're basically just wearing lingerie. Let's get into it. Noted that they do stand on their own even without the base and uh, considering that they are on high heels, that's pretty good. Also another thing for Lana, you get a little hat which you can put on a figure, you don't have to, so just keep that in mind with the size that would add obviously a little bit. but. As it stands right now, it's 14 centimeters to the top of the head, which means we are going up to 5.5 inches tall. And looking at them at this at the side by side, yes, they do have the same size because they do have the same body. You might add just a little bit because of the little hair over there, but size-wise, it's the same comparisons. Here's Jolter, the SH figure arts Krillin, Naka Michelangelo, Shunya Yamashita Kasumi. DC Bishoujo line Starfire, also by Shunya Yamashita, and Darkseid. Well, since they have the exact same body, that gives me a chance to look at um, quality control issues that you might encounter for either of them. So you have the Bobas, which will have some detail in, you have the red line and whatever ornaments you can see in the front. It's actually very nicely detailed down to the hips, which definitely don't lie, and it's Ponsu time, but I, I'll get to that in a minute. I just want to have a look at this, any inconsistencies on the figures. And one thing that I saw is on the boots, the shoe, the high heel, uh, only on the left one, on their left one, the line work is not correctly done, it just like, kind of stops. And also the lower half does have some bleeding on the white going over into the green. But for the rest of it, I mean the line work and everything on that does look clean. Also, the ones in their belt buckles. And in the back, there's a little bit more of that. So, with that in mind, we've seen the bodies. Let's look at the face gumps. I'm gonna have uh, Ange over here because she, uh, I don't know, she gives me my little pony vibes with this super colorful hair sculpt. The face sculpt is the Shunya Yamashita classic at this point. The face gumps do have its charm, its style always in it, so I am absolutely a fan of it. You have the lips which are painted, and the hair, as I mentioned, has pink, red, and blue in the front of it. She also has the goggles, which look fantastic, same thing. You got the metallic in the front, some of it on the side, and the hair is nice and wavy. Let's have a look at Lana real quick. She has a little bit more, I want to say, relaxed eyes, a little bit smaller eyes. Looks pretty rough is in the hair over here. I don't know what's going on with the plastic. There's some issues with that. It doesn't look very clean. The hair sculpt, you have the ribbon in the back and also the one blue line. It's a lot simpler, but it does still look good. Now, overall design choice, one thing I also want to focus on is the jacket. With the Plastic Angels having a lot of different designs from what I can tell, I wonder why they went with this design. Because the main problem I have with, the jacket only looks good when the arms are down. You always have this weird gap and it's just hanging on to the arms. I mean, you can still rotate it and try to hide it to a certain degree, but I'm just saying should have picked a different design. But I want to have another more detailed look also on the entire body sculpt. Yes, we have Bobas with a nice cleavage on there. And that's really the theme, the name of the figures. It's fan service. Black zipper on the jacket, and also like a small line over there, which looks kind of funky. No, it's just unpainted. Yeah, oh, okay, so that doesn't line up. We have something over there. You can take the jacket off, by the way. There's a way to do that, but we'll get to that. Once we'll have a look at the accessories, sleeves, coming out from under the jacket. And it's Ponsu time. Actually, this is just, uh, I mean, it's right there. It's right there, Ponsu. 
they have the belt molded over it so it does connect to it which works makes for a little bit of bleeding in the back and also just disconnects it really from the torso area which um, I mean it does still cover it up but you really have to wriggle around and make sure you don't end up with ugly holes stockings with a single red line on it and the high heels with a green tone of green and some pink under there with the belt buckles wrapping around there's a lot of belt buckles going on in the chest area and also the hips but yeah overall I mean like it's fan service it's very simple it's not too exquisite there's not too much detail in it but it does the job for the articulation I did take the jacket off because it's obviously extremely limiting but I want to show off how far everything goes now with the hair sculpt we have some blockage with that but it's just the simple standard Figma style of like you have a ball hinge which ends on another ball in the back of the hat so you do have the hinge but you still also can wiggle it around on the ball obviously just block because of the hair actually well we do have kind of like the same situation going on with Lana shoulder articulation double ball uh, ball hinge and another ball that goes into the chest area so you can bring it back and forth rotates freely on there and you have a bicep swivel in there I don't think so well you don't really need it because the shoulder does work you have a big ball hinge in the elbow which oof, this looks awful why not move the hinge a little bit lower so it does line up better this is just lazily cut off and then the hand is on another ball hinge back and forth rotates all the way around and this also the sleeve actually rotates freely so I guess it's just packed in there doesn't get in the way too much chest area does move back and forth does go side to side and it doesn't really swivel all the way because of the bobas the hips they don't lie and they rotate around goes forward goes to the sides goes to the back actually it's a little bit a little bit wobbly and I think you can shift it a little bit back and forth as you can tell over here and also rotation doesn't really go all the way around then the kick goes forward leg moves forward leg moves to the side leg moves to the back because the crotch piece is soft plastic so will bend out of the way can also rotate it a little bit up here and the uh, stockings have a swivel which is very stiff so be careful with that ball hinge in the knee and the foot is on another ball hinge which is nicely hidden in there so you go back and forth and you do have also a pivot which doesn't really work so well you can also swivel it on the ball on the heel well on the ankle actually so you do have that on top of it but you know it works so before I have a detailed look at the accessories I just have this over here to give you an overlook of what you're getting and the most important aspect of it you have the chair for both of them which looks exactly the same and also the table is exactly the same so I'm only gonna unpack one of these and showcase them but just to be sure just to be 100% clear yes you get a table for each and a chair for each so do not get things confused here all the accessories that are exclusive to Ange as I was saying they both have they both share some of it so I want to have just look a look at what Ange brings to the table you have the joint paintbrush which has a great look and the metallic with a bunch of detail on it nothing on it moves unfortunately you cannot open it in the back but still I mean it looks great and is definitely something unique that you can act adds to your collection and it's really the thing with these gals they have a lot of unique accessories the hobby knife and a small paintbrush actually over here like a tiny one the classic one she does come with a dog her uh, what's it called mogukun a pug actually which looks cute has a little bit obviously of an anime style does not look realistic it just says mog I thought it was mogu and then also the head is articulated it's just on a ball I think so you have some side to side rotates all the way around and a little bit of wiggle motion then for the faces you have the smiling face on the figure and then you have like a little bit of a worried face I guess and a smiling face with the closed eyes showing a little bit of teeth very nicely detailed I always love how they do the mouse it has a little bit of an opening tongue and everything is molded in there so that's great and then you got for the hands this one I guess for the giant paintbrush or the open one then you have the smaller ones for the small brushes and the hobby knife and more holding hands for various things and also you have the other arms if you're not a fan of the jacket and here's the instructions again with the entire lineup of 
things that you get with this figure. And here's all the accessories for Lana. First of all, you have the giant nippers, which actually works. You can open it, but it's completely plastic, so it's not able to cut anything. That would have been cool, I'm just saying. Then for the hands, you got some fist hands, and then two holding hands, and more open hands. A little bit middle of the finger open, and uh, these ones are the white ones. And what I prefer for Lana is that she has a little paintbrush and also nippers, which are connected to the hand, which is always something that I like a lot more than having them, you know, just added and you have to fumble around and put it in a hand and it's just gonna fall out. So this one is way better. And then you have, obviously, once again, the arms for the face gumps. You got the one somewhat looking hurt face and the closed eyes. Got a paint can also, spray paint can, which has a little bit of a generic logo on there. And then finally you have the hat, but how do you connect it? This is something I'm not really happy about. Well, the hat itself looks good. The line work on it is, well, it does the job for the most part. A little bit in the back, but yeah. Uh, how do you connect it? You have this mini piece of plastic and I don't like this and I'm probably not gonna be able to do it on the camera, but you have this, can't even tell it's there. You have this and you're supposed I'm just gonna show you how it's supposed to be done over here. You open, take the face gold off, you slide this in, and then you put the face gold back in, and then you just put the hat on there. Like I was saying, it's impossible for me to do it on the camera because it's already so small and see-through. I'll get to it before the end of the review. And here's the accessories that both of them share. First of all, the Figma back, like every Figma ever, and you also got the Figma base with the point on top over here and the hinges, and it has Figma, and here's the pay the table which uh, is unpainted plastic, but it does get the job done. It's fairly sturdy, and I like it. And finally, the uh, the chair, which doesn't have any articulation, unfortunately. It does have a nice amount of detail also in the back, but can't move it up here. That's just hard plastic, and also it doesn't roll. However, you can rotate these on swivels, so you can at least rotate the, um, the wheels around, which don't roll. I, I think I do want to know, can I even sit them on there? with the jacket on. Ah, oh, yeah, it does somewhat fit. And the jacket is soft-ish enough. So you actually do get in a sitting post, even with the jacket on. That's pretty cool. And that's, all right, since we had it already, uh, the hat probably won't have it on as it falls off already. This connection sucks. This is awful. Why not make a different plate for the hair sculpt with a pack in on it and be done with it, but no. This is really bad, this is really stupid, this is really cheap also, and I don't like it. Rant over. Final thoughts on the Plastic Angels, and uh, I'm kind of torn on a couple of things. Well, first of all, I love the design, lots of fan service, and the execution is done well for the most part. The articulation is standard, it looks great, and the accessories are obviously one of the big kickers for both of them, because they offer a lot of cool and interesting new things that you can completely interchangeable as Figma is. You can just add it to any kind of other figure you have. Now, problems. The first problem I have with like uh, Ange, my main thing is like none of these hands, none of these hands hold this paintbrush because like this is too big. This, I thought there was a hole in there. It's not. Uh, this one, yeah, no. If you would have a little bit of an era, area there, you could slide it in, but it doesn't. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't work. Also this one, it's too big. It's too big. It works with the, with the cutter, with the hobby knife. There, you can get at least that one in there. Somewhat, it's not the best fit. But it holds on to it. But everything else, forget about it. And for Lana, obviously I have the problem with the hat. I already got it back in the back because I don't care about it. Just having these small plastic garbage is stupid. Put a different hair sculpt on there and uh, you would have been able to connect the head or just connect it directly to the figure. I don't care, but don't do this, okay? So what's the final thoughts? I both like them and I both are a big fan of the idea to uh, add the Plastic Angels to the Figma lineup as they do bring a lot of cool new items. As such also, you're probably gonna ask me this, so I'm gonna go ahead and say if I only had to pick one, which one would it be? Well, since their bodies are completely interchangeable, really what it comes down to is which face sculpt do you prefer, which hat in general, and who's got the better accessories. And as such, 
I actually prefer the head sculpt of Ange, but Lana has the um, at least she holds her accessories and everything's connected to the hands and whatnot. But then again, Ange has the big paintbrush, so I just, I don't know I probably pick Lana just because it's overall more solid and uh, you have better ways to display the accessories, and she does actually hold on to it even though she doesn't have her hat. So that's my view on it, but uh, overall. Final verdict on it, yes, I do recommend them, but however, I do not feel that you absolutely need both of them. If you have a clear favorite, go for it, because as I was saying, they have the same bodies. It's really just the hands and accessories that do make the difference. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit it up with a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for more figure views, card game stuff, and whatever Osh and Lana, the Plastic Angels, want.